Hello everyone, today we are going to start working with Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Uh, our aim is to understand how Visual Basic.net works and how we can build simple application. Uh, this is won't be a professional tutorial or anything, it will be just uh, something that make you start it quickly and understand some of the basic ideas. Actually, if you understand how Visual Basic works and understood, if you were able to understand some of uh, the principles of the .NET uh, framework, you will be able to use uh, uh, C Sharp and uh, some other uh, Visual uh, Studio languages because they are based on the same framework. So uh, today. Uh, since it will be the first tutorial, we are going to understand how to work with the IDE, uh, Integrated Development Environment, and understand each com what each component does and what it helps you to achieve. Okay, so let's start. So, uh, first of all, uh, we will start by making a very simple application and uh, with that application we will be able to understand each component of the uh, IDE and what the, uh, it does provide you quickly. So in order to start our very first application uh, let's go to uh, file menu and select new project okay okay now uh, what's happening here you will get uh, this window okay uh, this window allows you to select the type of project you are developing you can develop a number of application console application uh, in that case you won't have graphical user interface or the standard windows application which is selected by default as we can see here windows forms application uh, class library or other options. We will not uh, work with other options. Basically, we will just stick to the Windows form for two re for one uh, reason because I'm not that professional and uh, we want to get into the basic. So right now uh, we, we uh, should select a name for our application. So we are going to give it the name uh, uh, test. Zero, zero, 001 okay and now we are going to hit the ok now we will wait a few seconds and <clears throat> okay well it's loading and there we go uh, now right now uh, the uh, IDE is ready to help us work uh, with uh, our application. So let's examine what's available on the screen. Uh, the, uh, you will see in the middle part of the screen is what's called the workspace and what uh, that does provide you with is the, is the area that you will do a lot of your programming things. You will write some of your code, you will uh, design how the forms will look like and do a lot of the stuff all in the workspace. And uh, in this workspace by default you will have your very first window. Uh, uh, right now you can see this is uh, uh, called form 1. It is the only window that your application provides and it's it's available in the workspace. So basically, you can manipulate uh, manipulate it a little bit. Uh, just try, for example, drag uh, drag those small squares to change the size and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, actually, this is not the only thing you can do. There are lots of other things you can do, but you will see later on what uh, what that does. Okay. Um, now. Uh, to the right of that, you will see a number of uh, other windows. Uh, 
the solution explorer shows you the file that uh, will uh, make your applications uh, for now uh, you uh, you uh, we will come more into that later but for now you can see that your window is saved under the name for one dot bba okay and your project settings are are saved with this one uh, my project uh, sometimes you want to quickly navigate and change some setting for your application simply uh, double click uh, any one of these and you can see that the workspace reflects uh, what has been selected so this is the setting for your application don't worry about the uh, the setting for application right now we are just trying to understand the IDE uh, okay uh, if you want to go back to your uh, uh, form to edit it or perform some operations you double click on the form and again you can see the IDE is displaying your form uh, in addition to that you can see from here the, those are small tabs you can switch between these uh, for task access it's up to you you can select anything okay uh, this is about the solution explorer uh, next to it is the data sources. The data sources allows you to connect your application into a number of databases like uh, MySQL, Microsoft Access, and uh, many other databases. But we will not concern ourselves right now with that. That's uh, kind of an advanced uh, topic right now. Okay. Uh, the most important window in your design, or the, uh, the one that you will use most, I think, in addition to the uh, workspace, is uh, the properties window. The properties window uh, allows you to change a few things uh, regarding your design. Uh, for now, when you select the, the, for, uh, the form one, Okay, you, you you can modify its uh, its uh, properties from here, like file name. Now, if, if you s select uh, uh, your project, you won't find much of a properties except for folder name. Okay, to get more on that, uh, just go to your window in, in the workspace and make sure you select it for one and just click it once. Now, if you see the properties window, you will see a very long list of properties. Those properties allows you to change uh, how your form behaves and uh, what, it, uh, what it does. We will see how to change things later on, but this is uh, just to give you a, the basic idea. Okay? And uh, you. Um, uh, well, let's change uh, a, a little bit to, uh, to understand how it works. Uh, if you go to your window and see its uh, title, it's called Form 1. You don't want your application to display Form 1 when it's executed. You want something uh, uh, to be displayed. Uh, okay, so let's go to the text property. This is text property and it says Form 1 we will change it of course when you would select the hello world but instead of that we will write hello me because uh, okay or hello you uh, just to make a change uh, make some kind of a change because i hate hello world applications so right now after you change this one and press enter uh, if you go and see your window you will see uh, the title has been changed so simply by changing values in the properties window you can change how your application looks like okay um, and uh, the final uh, okay uh, the final part we are talking about is the tool uh, toolbox window uh, this part uh, allows you to add controls 